In this video, we are going to talk about Costa Rica places to visit. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Biodiverse and beach-fringed Costa Rica has to be one of the most adventurous locations on the planet. Spanning a whole cutout of Central America, the country ranges from the aquamarine lagoons of the Caribbean Sea to the frothing waves of the Pacific Ocean. Read on to see my choices for some of the best places to visit in Costa Rica. Number 10. Manuel Antonio. Huddled between the lush rainforests, roughly midway down the Costa Rican Pacific coast, Manuel. The village of Manuel Antonio sits, just to the north of the main entrance to the park. It's now a bustling and vibrant place, complete with sport fishing outfitters, elusive sailfish inhabit these waters, you know, zipline courses, and hiking guides. The hotels in Manuel Antonio aren't allowed near the coast due to conservation regulations, but that's a gift in disguise, they stud the cliff tops instead, offering sweeping panoramas of the wave-smashed shoreline. Number 9. Puerto Vijo. Little Puerto Vijo de Talamanca whisks you over to the Costa Rican Caribbean. It shows, too. The town here would look right at home somewhere on the Jamaican north coast. It's filled with paint-peeling cantinas and ramshackle eateries where the scents of coconut curries twist and turn with the rhythms of reggaeton in the air. Oh, and there are buzzing bars that slosh with rum cocktails and cold beers, meaning you won't be short on nightlife. Once upon a time, Puerto Vijo was just an unknown fishing village. Then the surfers came. They were drawn by the promise of the thundering left-hand barrels that peel over the reefs of Salsa Brava and the hollow beach peaks at Playa Cocles. Number 8. Monteverde. Some say that Monteverde single-handedly brought ecotourism to Costa Rica and is high on the list of our best places to visit in Costa Rica. True or not, this is the place to go to get out and about in the tropical wilds of this very wild land. Perched on high in the misty midst of the Cordillera de Tilaran, it covers a vast swathe of over 20 square miles, 53 square kilometers, in all. Within are countless nature reserves and protected forest areas, which draw a continual stream of hikers, wildlife spotters, and adventurers. Number 7. Tortuguero. North, south, east, west, wherever you look around Little Tortuguero, is a national park. That's the beauty of this remote and isolated spot on the edge of the Caribbean Sea in northern Costa Rica. Just as the name implies, it's mainly known for its resident population of sea turtle. They are still the top draw attraction. Thousands of visitors come to watch green sea turtles, leatherbacks, and hawksbill turtles crawl from the ocean to build their nests between July and October, August is the best of the lot. It's an experience you're not likely to forget in a hurry. Number 6. Corcovado. If you only have time to visit one national park in Costa Rica, there's a good argument to make it the Corcovado National Park. Draped over large parts of the Osa Peninsula in the far south of the country, it was established to protect some of the last remaining old-growth wet forests on the Central American Pacific. Just in time, Two, the loggers and the miners already had their eyes on the place. Today, it's an enticingly hard to reach part of the country. The best way is to arrive is by boat via Drake Bay or Puerto Jimenez. Then, get ready to hit the trails. There are a few that stand out. The Los Patos to Siena trek is the longest, whisking you through lush cloud forests and gushing waterfalls. Budding botanists the point where the Corcovado jungles tumble into the Pacific Ocean is jaw-dropping to put it lightly. Number 5. Santa Teresa. Santa Teresa is bathed in the salty airs that roll off the Pacific Ocean at the tail end of the Nicoya Peninsula. One of the last of a whole string of surf towns in the region, it might just be the cream of the crop. Yep, a trio of fantastic beach breaks join up here. In total, they roll for over 6 miles, over 9 kilometers, starting with beginner-friendly Playa Hermosa in the north and ending with the hollow point breaks of Malpais down south. 
There's surfing for all levels in Santa Teresa, but it's a true intermediate mecca, with regular, rippable A-frame waves of 5 plus foot throughout the summer months. You don't have to wax down the board to enjoy Santa Teresa, though. Number 4. Arenal. Arenal Volcano is the centerpiece of Arenal, the self-proclaimed adventure capital of Costa Rica. Soaring to a whopping 5,436 feet, 1,656 meters, above sea level in the heart of the northern Cordillera, the Arenal Volcano, is a perfectly cone-shaped mountain that once erupted more than 41 times each day. Don't worry, it's now dormant, but you still can't hike to the peak, because of all the geothermal activity. Instead, delve into the verdant lands of the Arenal Volcano National Park, that surround the mountain, you won't be bored. Number 3. Guanacaste. The northern part of Guanacaste is home to the Santa Rosa National Park. Go there to explore empty wisps of golden sand, mangrove forests, and broadleaf woodlands that swing with rare capuchin monkeys. Adventures await inland, too, especially as Guanacaste has established itself as something of a ziplining mecca kids will love the monkey jungle zipline near Tamarindo, but there are plenty more hardcore ones to boot. Back on the coast and there's so much to get through. Hammock swinging days meet snorkeling and sunset sailing expeditions in chilled Playa Hermosa. You can watch the turtle hatching season on Playa Grande. And there's more surfing than you can shake an ecotourism handbook at Checkout Nozara, Tamarindo and Playa Guyons for the best. Number 2. Tortuga Island. There's an air of the Thai islands about Little Tortuga. Fragmented off the south side of the Nicoya Peninsula, a 90-minute boat trip out of Puntarinas, it draws thousands of city slickers from Big San Jose with the promise of powdery white beaches framed by jungle-topped rocks that lurch straight out of the Pacific. Idyllic is the key word. Tortuga is surrounded by some seriously immersive ocean territory. Scuba aficionados and snorkelers will have loads to chose from. There's the El Aquaria Reef, which teems with rainbow fish and angelfish and stingrays and all manner of strange underwater corals. You've got the Bai Bai Reef and its colossal submerged volcanic rocks, a favorite hangout for sea turtles and manta rays. Then there's the Caroline Star Shipwreck, where you can go to encounter formidable, white-tipped reef sharks. Number 1. Jocko Beach. Jocko is probably about as close as it's possible to get to a full-on beach resort in Costa Rica. Bursting with big hotels, beer-sloshing backpacker bars, and fast food outlets, it's not at all like the rest of the country. But there's some charm in these gritty streets, between the ramshackle hostels and salt-washed beach bars by the Pacific. What really put Jocko on the map to begin with is its surfing. It's great for complete beginners, because the two-mile beach here has forgiving and consistent shoulder-height waves that break over soft sand. Playa Hermosa, the first official world surfing reserve in Central America, takes care of more advanced riders. It's just to the south of town and comes replete with glassy left-handers and A-frames, but you'll need to watch out for the rips. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.